Addition of integers Another awesome day, students! Welcome back to my classroom! For today's lesson, you are going to learn how to add integers, whether they are positive, negative, and zero. Now, let us begin! Let's try our first example. We have here positive 1 plus positive 2. I know that you already know the answer to this, but let me show you how to solve this using our number line. We have here positive 1, and we need to add positive 2. Since this is positive, we are going to move 2 times to the right in the number line. So we have 1, 2, and that is 3. Good job! Therefore, our answer is 3. It means that positive 1 plus positive 2 equals positive 3. Now let us try to solve this using some counters. I have here some chip. We have one positive chip and two positive chip. If we count them all together, we have three positive chip. It means that when we are adding positive integers, we are just simply going to add the numbers and copy the positive sign. But since it is already positive, we may or may not write the positive sign. Now let's go and have another one. Let us try to solve 2 plus 3. Our first integer here is positive 2. And let us add positive 3. Since it is positive, we are going to move 3 units or 3 times to the right in our number line. 1, 2, 3. And that gives us positive 5. Therefore, positive 2 plus positive 3 is positive 5. Now, let us try to answer this using our counters. We have 2 positive chips and 3 positive chips. If we count them all, we will get 5 positive chips. There you go. Okay, now let us try this one. Positive 8 plus positive 3. Let us try to solve this without using number lines and counters. Do you have any idea? Yes, you are correct. As we can see, they are both positive numbers. And we have to remember that when we are adding positive integers, we are just simply going to add the numbers and copy the positive sign. Therefore, 8 plus 3 is 11. Since it's positive, we may or may not write the positive sign. Great job! Now, let us try some more. This time, let us try to solve negative 1 plus negative 1. This time, we are going to add both negative integers. So, our first added here is negative 1. And we are going to add negative 1. Since this is a negative integer, instead of moving to the right, we are going to move to the left. So, let us move one unit to the left. There you go. Now, we got negative 2. It means that when we add negative 1 and negative 1, we will get negative 2. Now, let us try to solve this using our counters. We have one negative chip plus another one negative chip. If we count them, we get two negatives. It means that when we are adding negative integers, we simply add the numbers and copy the negative sign. Since it is negative, we need to put the negative sign. Now, let's practice some more. Let's try to solve negative 2 plus negative 3. Our first addend is negative 2, and we have negative 3. Since this is negative, we are going to move 3 times to the left. So, 1, 2, 3. Now, we have negative 5. Therefore, negative 2 plus negative 3 equals negative 5. So, let us try to solve this using our counters. We have two negatives 
plus 3 negatives. Now let us count all together. Very good. We have 5 negatives. Great job! Now let us try to solve this without using number lines and counters. We have negative 6 plus negative 4. Again, let us remember, when we are adding negative integers, we simply add the numbers and copy the negative sign. Therefore, 6 plus 4 is 10 and copy the negative sign, we will get negative 10. Now, let's try this one. We have positive 1 plus negative 1. As we can see, we are trying to add opposite signs. We have positive and a negative. Let us take a look first at our first add-in. We have positive 1. Let us add negative 1. Since this is negative, we are going to move 1 unit to the left. There you go. Now we got 0. It means that positive 1 plus negative 1 is equal 0. Now let's try to answer this using our counters. We have 1 positive and 1 negative. We need to remember that a pair of positive 1 and negative 1 is equal to 0. Therefore, we just simply going to cancel them and then we will get 0. Now let us try some more. Let us try to answer negative 4 plus positive 2. Let us try to answer first using our number line. Negative 4 plus positive 2. Since this is positive, we are going to move 2 times to the right. 1, 2. We have negative 2. Therefore, negative 4 plus positive 2 equals negative 2. Now, let's try to answer this using our counters. We have 4 negatives and 2 positives. We have to remember that a pair of positive and negative is equal 0. Now, let's take a look and find some pairs in our counters. Very good! I can see 1, 2. I can see two pairs of a negative and a positive, and we just simply going to cancel them. Now we have two negatives left. Now let us try some more. Let's try to answer negative 2 plus positive 6. First, we have negative 2. Let's add positive 6. Again, since it's a positive integer, let us move 6 units to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Therefore, we have positive 4. Negative 2 plus positive 6 equals positive 4. Now, let us answer this using our counters. We have 2 negatives and 6 positives. Now, remember, a pair of 1 positive and 1 negative always equal to 0. Now, let's cancel out the pairs. There you go. Now, we have 4 positives left. Awesome job! Now, let us try to answer without using number lines and counters. We have negative 10 plus positive 5. When we are adding opposite sign, first is we need to disregard the signs. We are going to ignore whether they are positive or negative. And then, we need to subtract the numbers. Here we have 10 and 5. So let us subtract it. 10 minus 5 is 5. And then after that, let us copy the sign of the bigger number. When we are looking for the bigger number, we will also disregard or ignore the signs. So we have here 10 and 5. 
and we know that the bigger number is 10. Since 10 has negative sign, our answer will also be negative. It means that negative 10 plus positive 5 equals negative 5. Now let us check our answer using our counters. We have 10 negatives plus 5 positives. Again, we need to remember that a pair of 1 negative and 1 positive is equal 0. Now let us cancel the pairs. There! Now we have 5 negatives left. Therefore, our answer is correct. Now let's have another example. Let us try to solve negative 7 plus positive 8. Again, we are going to disregard whether they are positive or negative. Let us subtract the numbers. 8 minus 7 is 1. Now, let's take a look at the sign of the bigger number. Here, the bigger number is 8. And since it is a positive integer, our sum or answer should also be positive. Therefore, negative 7 plus positive 8 equals positive 1. Now, let us check if our answer is correct. We have 7 negatives plus 8 positives. Again, we need to cancel out the pair of 1 negative and 1 positive. There you go! Now, we have 1 positive left. Therefore, our answer is correct. Wonderful job, students. Now, here are the things that you learned today.